Hello and welcome to Happy Handicrafts. Today we are going to be making project number 11 from the book Paper Sloyd for Primary Grades by Edna Ann Rich. This project is a bonbon box. It is made from a piece of paper that is 8 inches by 8 inches. We found this project to be one of the more useful Paper Sloyd projects. We used ours as a small gift box. The materials you'll need for this project are the book, Paper Sloyd for Primary Grades. You'll find it useful for the instructions as well as the diagrams. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a pencil, some glue, a ruler, and a piece of paper that is at least 8 inches by 8 inches. Ours is 12 inches by 12 inches. So let's get started. Our first step is to create an 8 inch by 8 inch square piece. We're going to do this by measuring down 8 inches on the left. You'll place a dot and then move the ruler in more towards the right and place another dot at 8 inches. Using your ruler, you're going to join those two dots. Holding it firmly in place, draw a line connecting them. We're next going to measure in 8 inches from the left. You'll place a dot and move the ruler down to the bottom. Again, measuring eight inches in from the left and placing a dot. Once again, you'll join those two dots using the ruler, holding it firmly in place and drawing a line. This is going to give you an 8 inch by 8 inch square at the top left hand part of your paper. You can go ahead and cut that out now. Once you have your 8 inch by 8 inch square piece, you're going to place dots at the top and bottom at 3 inches, 4 inches, and 5 inches. You're then going to join the middle dots. You're going to draw a line from one four inch dot to the next. This will give you a line right down the middle of your paper. You're then going to place dots on the left and on the right, again at three inches. four inches and five inches. Mm -hmm. 
You will then use your ruler to join the middle dots. For the next part, you're going to find your book to be very useful. We'll use the diagram. We're going to draw slanting lines from dot to dot. Essentially what we're doing is joining the 3 inch marks and the 5 inch marks. To keep it simple, we simply rotated our 8 inch by 8 inch square and then did the same thing in all four corners, joining the 3 inch dots and the 5 inch dots. Using our diagram, once again, we're going to identify the cut lines as indicated in a heavier line. Lucy is showing where they would be on our project. We'll outline them as well. We'll make the lines a little darker so that we'll be sure to cut in the correct spot. Once you've darkened the cut lines, you can go ahead and cut them out. Next, using our ruler, we're going to fold along each of the lines. The ruler simply serves as a guide to keep our lines straight.
Remember to hold the ruler firmly in place to ensure accuracy. Next we will reinforce the folds. You can use just a fingernail or something firm like the ruler. Be sure to get those little tabs folded as well. Take your time going around the entire square and reinforcing each fold. This makes a crisp and clean final project. Once all the folds are completed, we're going to glue it together. You start by folding in the two small tabs on one side and putting glue on them. These tabs are going to remain on the inside of the box. Once they're glued, you're going to move the side of the box up against them, forming a square and hold it in place until the glue stays in place. Then do the other side, again holding it firmly in place until the glue stays. Once one side is done, we're gonna glue the other side. So once again, move the two small tabs inside Fold them inside and place some glue on them. And then again, still keeping them inside the box, you're going to press them firmly against the side of the box. Hold them in place as long as you need to until the glue doesn't slip. And there's your box. 
we put some chocolate coins in ours. The top tabs will fold down and you can secure it how you like. We placed a ribbon around ours. And there's our final product. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, would you be so kind as to like it and comment and take the time to subscribe. It makes a big difference to us and I hope to see you in our future videos. Take care.